Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button so that you don't miss any video coming from me. So today you can see um, my background is a bit different. I'm home. I'm in my mama's house. And I thought I'd just do one video here. So today I'm going to be talking about hygiene, cleaning your brushes. It is very important guys to always make sure that your brushes are cleaned. How often do you need to clean your brushes? A lot. How often, Taba? A lot. A lot. <laughs> well, you need to clean your brushes at least every week. Once a week, clean your brushes. I've got tons and tons of brushes. I could never clean my brushes all at once. I get tired now. So today I've just cleaned just, um, just a few brushes just so that you can see how it looks or how, how to clean your brushes. So let's see how to clean your brushes. Okay, so let's wash this one. So it's very dirty, but I'm gonna just use um, normal liquid washing. So, and that's what you do. Oh, you it's can pause. dirty so much. Can pause. Look at all that dirt. Where's the makeup coming off? Are you sure that's not? Are you sure that's makeup not not mud? Are you sure this is not a mud brush? Funny, aren't you? Hey, it looks like it. Was completely brown. So now you will see that the foam coming off from the brush is now completely white. So this tells you that your brush is now clean. It's ready to be rinsed. When you buy your brush, it has an original color. Whatever that color is, every time you wash your brush, your task is to try it and get back, get it back to its original color. If you forget sometimes, just take a picture of the original color then you can then you'll know if it's okay or not yeah then you know it's clean but it's very important to make sure that your brush is clean more important after we've used the soap it's more important to make sure that the soap is completely out of your brush no soap residue must be left must be completely clean and rinsed out just getting rid of the soap even on the inside it's very important to go now. You almost got it somewhere. Okay. Okay guys, so we're done now washing the, the brushes and here we are. So here's the specific one that I was washing earlier. So how do you know your brush is dry? You would do this on your hand. If you don't have any wet feeling, damp feeling on your hand, Turning. then you know yeah. it's dry yeah okay sure. and then now you know your brush is dry how do you know your brush is clean here's how you check take a clean piece of tissue let me just move these here then you would do take the same brush you were washing then you know your brush is clean if your brush brush is not clean it's gonna leave some product on the tissue also this is a nice way to check when you're doing your makeup by a makeup artist to check if their brushes that they're going to use on your face are clean just take a tissue then you know your brush is clean you know your brush is clean let me show you with the dirty brush how it looks there you go then you know that brush is not clean so it's important to always make sure that your brushes are clean oh so guys, just to show you also a difference um, of how the clean brush is, a clean brush compared to a dirty brush. So this brush is brown. Here now, it's brown, but the actual color, it's not brown, it's white. So if this brush was cleaned up, it would look exactly like this one. So these would be the same type of brushes. Here's the perfect one to show you, this white one. 
This is the same brand of brush. This is clean. This is dirty. Huh? This is dirty. This is clean. <laughs> <laughs> you said this one was clean and this one okay. was dirty. So guys, now we've seen how to clean the brushes. Why must you even bother cleaning your brushes? I mean, you're the only one using them. There's different reasons why it's important for you to clean your brushes. One, it's for the hygiene of your skin. So the more you use your brushes, you don't clean them. Like anything else that you use, it gathers germs. Those germs will become bacteria that when you put, when you use on your face, will sometimes create your skin to react, um, create a rash, or maybe even break out. So please just make sure that you always, always clean your brushes. Another important thing that we tend to do as ladies, especially when we are out with our girls, we share these tools. Guys, I would like to advise that you please do not share your brushes with your friends, no matter how much you love them. Friend, sister, mother, does not matter. Your brush is your brush. Treat it as your underwear. Do not share those. The reason is, what might be harmful to my skin might not necessarily be harmful to your skin and vice versa. You might use a brush, might treat you perfectly fine, but when I take your brush and use it on my skin, unfortunately, I react to it. The reaction, guys, differs. I've had someone, when I was still uh, doing my makeup course, we went to class because um, we, need, we, we, we needed each other to, up, to be um, each other's faces so that we can practice on each other, basically. The person who practiced on their face with a brush, their brushes were not clean. The following day, the person woke up with such a swollen face it was it was it was sad her lips were swollen her everything was just swollen her eyes were completely closed from swelling and the only thing that she had done differently that day was the previous day she had used someone else's brushes so it's very important to please make sure that your brushes are clean and also do not share your brushes same with lipstick do not share your lipstick with friends if you ask me for my lipstick i'd gladly give you my lipstick but after you use it if you've noticed if you're close to me you'd know i don't use it immediately because i wait to get home and shave it how do you shave your lipstick you just take 90 percent alcohol you spray it on a cotton bud or a cotton cloth you would then wipe your lipstick with that that's how you shave it then you've killed all the gems on your lipstick that's important if you if you really desperate you need to share a brush with your friend then also keep a small um, alcohol on your on your purse. Well, I do because I, I know these things. I keep a bit of alcohol. I would spray the small sprays, would just spray the brush before I hand it over to them. And when they are done, I spray the brush again. The alcohol would kill the germs, obviously, so there wouldn't be any bacteria on the, on the, on the brush. But obviously, as well, you would still need to clean it. Don't think that when you spray, with the alcohol your brushes then your brushes are clean no when you clean your brushes you need to wash them i do it normally under running water as you've seen however it's not always possible so you just need to rinse your brushes quite more for them to actually until there's actually no no product coming off from the brushes so that's that's all for today guys i hope you've enjoyed the video please let me know what else you'd like to see on my videos and then i'll hook you up um don't forget to subscribe again and have an awesome week ahead. Love you. See you next week.